People get hung up all the time on the issue of webinar replays. Should they be evergreen? Should I put them on YouTube? How should I use them? How long should they be up? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So webinar replays are super important and we're gonna cover everything you need to know. Before we jump into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video. And if you know webinars are for you, grab my free course down below. Five videos, five worksheets, everything you need to know to get started with webinars. All right, so webinar replays. How should you use them? Well, the first thing is how long should they be available? A lot of people ask me, they're like, should I only have it for three days after the live webinar? Should I have it for five days? Should I turn it evergreen? Should I leave it up for a couple days and then say that it's ending, but leave it there? Here's the tried and true answer. Three or four days max is what you should allow it up. Each day, you should email one to two times, driving people back to the replay. There are several different things that you can put in your email. You can use transcripts, you can use testimonials, you can use audio blurbs, you can use one or two of the slides to build some curiosity, drive people back to the replay. If you wanna get really fancy, you can even drive them back to specific parts of the replay. You can put them in right before the pitch, you can put them in right before the three secrets, you can put them anywhere you want. Uh, ideally though, I just put them to the front of the webinar. You want them to get the full experience. You can put in pieces of the transcript, all of that to say you want to drive them back. But the biggest two things that drive people to take action are urgency and scarcity. So you need to have those in your emails. And the way that you actually fulfill on this is the webinar replay has to go away. Now they can opt in a week, two weeks, three weeks later when you do the webinar again, but if you're going to have a live webinar and you're going to use the urgency and scarcity, the biggest way that you can use that is it actually has to go away. So at the end of your three or four days, you need to do a cart close and that is it. That's the last time. If you have a whole bunch of people emailing you, there's no nothing to say that you can't drive them to a secret back door. I don't recommend making that widely available. I don't recommend sending out emails about it. But if somebody wants to buy from you and they email you about it, of course, sell them something. But the webinar itself needs to end. It needs to have a countdown on it. And you need to hold to that. The second big question I get is, do auto webinars, evergreen webinars actually work? They do 100%. Now, going back to the urgency and scarcity, you can embed software that will show them the webinar and give them a countdown timer. It will automatically fire an email sequence that will go out and the email sequence will mirror the auto webinar countdown timer. You can do that. That definitely works. I recommend that even if the page is still there when the timer gets there, a lot of people will just be driven by the timer and they'll be like, oh my goodness, I need to take action. I need to do something, right? If you're not going to have it expire, that is okay. You can leave it there. Evergreen webinars will work. As far as the replay though, you do have to have that urgency and scarcity. The third question that I've gotten quite a bit is, should I just put it up on YouTube? And my answer here is a solid no with a little asterisk. The asterisk is if you have a half million dollar or $1 million business that is doing really, really well, you can put it on YouTube. The reason that I recommend against it is because it does not build urgency or scarcity. It also does not build your list. One of the greatest side benefits of a webinar, especially when you are building your business, is everybody has to opt in for it. You're going to get their email and in some cases their phone numbers. You want those so that you can follow up with people, email, text messages, get in touch with them, right? If you don't get those, if they're just going to YouTube, you're going to miss out on collecting information. And if you paid attention to my videos, more than 50% of your sales come from the follow-up sequence. If you don't have an ability to follow up with them, you're going to miss out on all those sales. So I firmly suggest not putting it on YouTube or on any video site. I wouldn't put it on Facebook. I would make sure that it is behind an opt-in wall so that you can capture that information. If they're not willing to give you an opt-in, they are not going to be a customer regardless. I know some people out there are probably like, well, if I put it there, maybe I'll get a few extra views. They're not buyers. Your webinar is not gonna be that powerful. If they're not interested enough to lean in and give you their email in return for it, they're not buyers. Don't fall for that trap. 
All right, guys, that wraps this up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I am happy to always respond to your comments. If you know you need help with webinars, make sure you pick up the free course that is down below. If you have a webinar, but it is not converting or you need help with the follow-up, I do a complete webinar VIP day where I break everything down. I give you feedback bit by bit on how you deliver on your front end funnel, on your follow-up sequence, everything that you need. Last but not least, if you know webinars are the way to grow your business and you want my help, click the link down below, schedule a strategy call with me where I will walk you through everything you need. We will sit down. I'll show you what it looks like. When I work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, we build the presentation, we build the deck, we build the front-end funnels, we build all the follow-up sequence. I help you practice the webinar and I make sure that it is successful for you. Until next time, hit that like and subscribe button, take action, change lives, and make money. We'll see you soon.